Hi, I'm Craig at Special Fork. The most important tool in the kitchen is a knife, and keeping an edge, a sharp edge on that knife is obviously one of the most important things that you can do as far as ma maintaining your kitchen equipment. To do that, you want to hone your knife every day with a steel. Every time you use it, you hone it with a steel. But from time to time, your knife needs to be sharpened, and sharpening is different than honing. I, su I suggest that you get your knives professionally sharpened, but if you want to practice trying to sharpen them yourself, I'll give, you, I'll, I'll give you a demonstration here as to how I like to do it. I like to sharpen my own knives because I can put the angle and the edge that I want on my knives, and that might be a little different than a professional does. So I have here a two-grit whetstone. You can buy these at all your stores. Um, a lot of manufacturers make wet, whetstones that match their knives. Um, stones are really stones. What's important is the grit. I have a 600 grit here in the gray. And this sort of brown color is a thousand grit. Those are the two that I like the best. The thousand grit puts a very smooth finish, and the and the six hundred grit lets me take more metal off, um, so I can actually shape my edge into the shape that I want it. To do that, I want to make sure that I'm keeping a, a, an even angle on both sides of my blade as I take metal off to shape it. Now, the um, a lot of people that you see are they push the knife into the stone like so. And that's actually dangerous for both the stone and the knife. If you, if you take a nick in the stone, you're, you're going to make a rough, a rough edge on that stone that, that's going to make it not as good a sharpening stone for future knives. And also, you're going you're gonna to mess up your blade. So it's always a good idea to pull the blade towards you as you sharpen. And you can see I'm going from the, one end of the blade to the other and one end of the stone to the other. And I'm going to flip it over. I want to make sure that I take the same amount of metal off on each side, and then I'm, you can see I'm bracing it with my fingers like this, so I keep an even angle all the way along the entire length of the blade. So as I do that, this is the 600 grit I'm taking off more steel. Once I have the shape of the blade that I want, I'm then going to refine it and smooth it with the 1000 grit. Might keep the surface. I've been soaking this stone for about an hour, so it's very well full of water like a sponge, but I do want to keep the surface wet. So now I'm going to go with the 1000 grit. And I'm smoothing that edge. I'm going to go to two like that on that side, two on this side. And then when I get really close to the end, I like to just do one for one so that I really have it even. There we go. And that is a beautiful edge on that. Now that's sharpening with a stone. From time to time, in between stone sharpenings and, and honing every day, I do like to use this. This is a sharpening steel. It's not a honing steel. It's actually a sharpening steel. It's diamond, it's diamond impregnated. And that actually does take off metal. It's not honing. It's sharpening. Um, and, but it's, it's not as aggressive as the stone. It's not as big of a production. And so every now and again, I will, if I feel like a knife's getting dull and my honing's not as effective, I will actually go ahead and sharpen it a couple of, just a few quick strokes on the, uh, the sharpening steel. And that way I keep a sharp edge on all of my knives all the time. For more great recipes and ideas, go to specialfork.com.